guys, I am in a different location. So if the lighting's different, that is why. And I haven't filmed in like a month. I had stomatitis, which for those of you who don't know, that's swelling of the gums. And I had ulcers in my mouth and it was just horrible. So now that that's done and Christmas is over, I can film again. <laughs> and my chair is different, but this is the same um, background. I just moved it downstairs and I'm wearing a dangerous woman sweatshirt. I'm pretty content. But today I'm here to talk about eyeshadow palettes. Well, three of them. I'll talk to you guys about the three newest Too Faced launches, which I have right here and I'm really excited about. I got them all three for Christmas. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it because I'm too excited. I think I'm really low. I might need a cushion. Is that better? <laughs> I brought a cushion over from the couch. Hopefully that's better. Okay, so these two I actually, um, my mom actually got me and then I bought this one with some Christmas money I had. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the inside of them in case you haven't seen them. My brush drops falling. This is the Too Faced Clover palette and it's the cutest packaging ever. Like look at this. It's so cute and this is the box. And I have used this. I used it one time. This is the little card. Too Faced palettes always come with this little big card. And it has like looks for you to do on them, which I love these. I keep them actually. I have all of mine right here. <laughs> I keep them. They're really good to, you know, learn how to use a product or if you don't know what look to do, they're really handy to have. But this is what the actual palette looks like itself. It's the same packaging as the box and it's made out of tin like I think almost all the other palettes are except for the chocolate gold, which I will get to in a second. And it's a magnetic closure. And this is what the inside looks like. You can see my backyard. I'm using, I'm filming in front of a window today. I just look like this. You can kind of see. These colors are amazing. I actually use this on Christmas Day when I opened it on Christmas Eve because we always open one present early. And I got this one. And I used the uh, pink and purples that are in this general area right here. And they were amazing. I've only used this palette the one time, but I have swatched a ton of the shades in here. And it's amazing. I love Too Faced Shadows. They're, they're my favorite to work with. Hence why I have so many. You will see later on. But this palette is so, so cute. It is limited edition, and I think it's Too Faced.com exclusive. I'm not entirely sure, but it's super cute. And Clover is Jared's dog. Jared is the owner of Too Faced, and that's Clover. It's a chihuahua. He's a chihuahua, and he is super, super cute. I follow him on Instagram. So that is the first palette. The second one is the white chocolate bar palette and this is also limited edition i think it you can get it on twofaced.com and i think it might be sephora exclusive it's not so old so i'm not sure it also comes with a little card and it has the same if i can unfold it set up as the other one and i love this it says white chocolate goes with everything which i agree with i love white chocolate but this is what the palette looks like itself it's the exact same as the box and this is also tin and magnetic closure and this is what this one looks like I've also used this one I used it once I used it the day before yesterday actually the day after Christmas <laughs> and um, it's amazing I love it I love it I love it I love it I love the mint chocolate shade I use lavender cake which is just lavender all over my lid because sometimes lavender light colors like that can be a little bit tricky amazing I said right before I started to choke on air and I love this it smells like chocolate Mm. So, so, so good. All right. That's that one. This is the Chocolate Gold. This is the newest member of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar collection. And I just bought this one today. I haven't even used it. And, yeah, this came with a little sheet. Chocolate is worth its weight in gold. The cat just popped up. And, again, it's the same setup. I... catch so all right this is what this palette looks like it's actually not tin like the other ones it's plastic which I don't know I don't hate it but I, I like tin I like the sound it makes and this one is a magnetic closure it clips shut which is different than all the other Too Faced palettes and it actually has a full mirror you can see that <laughs> I don't want to blind you um the other ones have a little cut out but this is what this one looks like and it also smells like chocolate and it's infused with real gold 
and these colors look stunning. I'm so, so excited to use this. Are the three, I believe these are the three newest palettes from Too Faced. And I actually placed an order on Too Faced.com two days ago and I ordered the peanut butter and jelly palette, which I know has been out for like a year, but I didn't have it and they had a sale going on and I wanted the peanut butter and honey, but it was sold out, so I got the peanut butter and jelly instead. So when I get that palette in the mail, I might do a review on that as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Now that I'm done filling you all in on what's been happening and why I haven't been filming, um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. So I already know what I think about these two. I kind of said in the beginning, I like them both. Very, very much. These are their back in their boxes, if you can't tell. And yeah, so I'm going to use the chocolate gold because I have not used this one yet. I'm going to take it out of the box. I haven't used it yet and I want to try it out. I just bought it at Ulta today. I actually just got back and I set up my filming stuff and I sat down and I got ready to film. I'm going to use this headband because it's the only one I currently have. So I can't scoot any closer to my phone. But I did get a new mirror and it lights up and it's hella bright. You can you can kind of see. I think it looks better without it on. Yeah. So that's why my camera has to be high up because this mirror is taller than my old mirror. And it's a speaker. It's really cool. So besides the point, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes if I can find a brush. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. This comes with their uh, Pro palettes and I like this primer a lot. It's not my favorite primer, but it is... Ooh, my second favorite. I just dropped my brush. <laughs> I am a mess. I have not filmed in a long time. And this is just an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's kind of rubbed off a little bit. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, which I showed you in the beginning of the video. It's like dripping down. It's super cool, but it does leave fingerprints. And you can... There's my phone right there. And I'm going to pick up... A flat brush and I'm gonna use the shade rolling rolling in dough which is this one right here it's a matte shade the names are on the palette they're just kind of hard to see with the glare from the Sun I'm gonna pick this up I'm gonna set the eyeshadow primer I'm actually gonna set the whole lid because I don't know what look I'm gonna do yet but if I end up using a shimmer I'm gonna get closer that may have been a bad idea but um I think there's only four mattes in here yeah there's only four mattes in the Too Faced chocolate gold palette which I don't really mind because Four mattes for me is really all I need, but if you are more of a all matte eyeshadow person, you may not, you may not love this. But there is the Too Faced uh, Just Peachy Mattes, I think that's out, and um, they have like the chocolate chip palettes, they're like the mini ones. They're cheaper and they're all matte. At least the matte chocolate chip is, I don't know if they both are. So eyes are set and prime. My table is really wobbly because I broke one of the legs off and I had to glue it back on, but we're just going to ignore it <laughs> for now. I'm going to take So Bougie, which is this one right there, and this color is right up my alley. I love these type of colors, light brown, tan colors for crease colors and transition colors. There is some kick up, but it's not anything to be alarmed about most blendable and creamy eyeshadows do have some kick up. So a little bit of kick up is a good thing, in my opinion. Sorry if you hear my sister's TV. She sleeps in a couple rooms over. Her room is a couple rooms over. She sleeps in a couple rooms over, and she's watching Friends. So if you, if you hear it, I'm sorry. But I really wanted to film, and I really wanted to use this. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use Cocoa Truffle, which is this one right here. It's the other matte brown. It's the only other matte brown. And I'm going to pick that up on a smaller blending brush. Put this directly in the crease. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That is a pretty color. Can you guys see it? I don't know. Hopefully. I won't know if this video is in focus or like anything until I go to edit. So let's hope. I'm going to use Hala for Adala, Which is... Whoop. This dark green right here. There's a lot of green in this palette. I love green eyeshadow. I'm gonna use Money Bags, which is this bright green right here. It is stunning, it's gorgeous, and I wanna use it really, really bad. So I'm gonna pack that on my lid. So I'm gonna use the black, and I'm only gonna use a really, 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 really small amount. So I'm gonna use Decadent, which is the black, it's right there. That way I get all four of the matte shades in this look. 
I'm going to finish my face makeup and we'll be right back. We're going to finish the lower lash line right now. And I did a pretty basic base today. It's nothing too exciting. I kind of just used my normal array of products except for I used a different highlighter. So I'm going to take So Bougie and put that across my lower lash line. The shade Cocoa Truffle. I'm going to take Rollin' and Dough again and highlight my brow bone. I need an inner corner highlight. I didn't highlight my inner corner at all. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Rich Girl, which is this one right here. I don't know. I just think it looks so cool. I'm going to try it. All right. I'm going to put on mascara, eyeliner, and my lipstick, and I'll be right back. All right. I am back. I am done with my whole face. I about ripped my iPod off the table. <laughs> Whoops. And we are ready for my final verdict on the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And, okay. I'm going to tell you guys this again. Um... My ultimate favorite palette ever is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, the original one. And I actually have it right here. I'm going to pull it out. So this is what the original Chocolate Bar palette looks like if you haven't seen it. It is a cult classic on YouTube. Everybody in the beauty community has this palette or has heard of it or, like, has used it. Like, <laughs> it is everywhere. And it was a huge deal when it launched, and I was actually late to the bandwagon. I've only had this palette about two years. I think it's been out about three or four. It's been out a while, and it's my absolute favorite palette ever. I mean, look at it. If you know me, you know this is just everything to me. I actually dug my nail into it a long time ago when I first got it, when I had acrylics. And, yeah, it was not pretty. Now they actually print the names on the palette, but I still have the sheet. But this is my ultimate favorite palette. It is my ride or die. If I don't know what to use, I don't know what to do, I always use this one. So I had really, really high expectations for the Chocolate Gold. And when I heard they were launching the Chocolate Gold, I was really, really excited because I have all of the Chocolate Bar palettes, the big ones. I don't have the mini chip ones, but I have all of the big ones. And I might do a video on all of them, but um, if I do, stay tuned. But I had really high expectations for this. And I actually didn't even know this was launching until I got the email from Too Faced and I was like ecstatic. I was over the moon. The bronzer in the chocolate gold collection does not interest me at all, but the pigment looks really pretty, but the palette was what I was most excited about and the packaging's gorgeous. I love it. I love that there's a full mirror. Actually, I didn't show you how the other one is not a full mirror. It's like cut out, which it's still a really nice mirror, but this one is really, 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 really clear and it's really, really nice. I like the packaging. I do wish it was tin, but, I mean, I still like the plastic. It's a really hard, sturdy plastic. It's not flimsy at all. So, it should do pretty well. I like how it closes completely. Sometimes the chocolate bar palettes can, like, fly open. If you're not careful, that's blinding you. I'll hold it like this. <laughs> but, um, I like how it clips closed. I like the mirror. It's a really, really good mirror. I actually used this mirror when I was putting on the eyeshadow. But this is what the palette looks like one more time. And I love, I love the colors in here. My mom was like, these are really, really bright. And I'm like, that's... That's fine. I like bright colors sometimes. I'm in the mood for different colors all the time, and I love it. But um, I love this. I would recommend it to you if this looks like something you're into. There is only four mattes, which are these four right here. I used all four of them today. But for me, four mattes is enough. That's really that's all I ever really need is four mattes, and the rest are shimmer. But they are gorgeous shimmer. I didn't swatch them all like I usually do in my reviews, but... Um, the ones I did swatch, I have some swatches on the back of my hand, if you can see. They are amazing. The greens were so, so nice. In this, on the screen, it doesn't look as realistic as it does in person. There is, like, a definite division between the two greens. Like, I did blend it, but, like, you can tell on camera, it looks like it's all just one. But there is, there is a difference. My lighting just sucks. But I would recommend this. I sew what is $49. That's US. I don't know about other countries. It's, I love this. I love the dripping gold. It's just so gorgeous. It's infused with real gold. It smells like chocolate, but it's not as strong as the original. So if that bothered you, I would recommend this one. Um, it's not as strong. You can't smell it on your face. You can smell it up close, but like this far away, I can't smell it anymore. So I would 100% recommend this to you. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I will see you in my next video.